Hello people, the web and YouTube, DTBK here, welcome to Until You Wake Up. Anyway guys, I was gonna make a joke about this game when I first saw it for the fact that it kinda looks like an old retro, um, Game Boy game, but I'm not too sure if I can edit the video into a Game Boy PNG, but if I can, future me, do it, and I'm just kidding. Anyway guys, this is a game I really wanted to do just for the fact that it looked like a Game Boy game, and I have a feeling it's gonna play a lot like a Game Boy game too. And well... With that said, I don't know much about this other than the fact that we play as a guy that wakes up in some kind of abandoned place in which he has to kind of solve puzzles or something in order to get out. The only gripe I have with this game so far is they don't make the resolution the same size as like a Game Boy. That'd be so cool if they could make it look like it would be on a Game Boy, you know? But yeah, with that said, guys, I'm just gonna get to this and hopefully everything works. So, okay, guys, I was actually fixing to, well, leave this video off here. I kind of figured I couldn't get the game to work at all, but then I was just clicking around randomly. And I think this is supposed to be a game where you have to use your mouse to move around, which kind of... It kind of sucks, but I guess it makes sense considering it's a puzzle-based game. And if I were to use my keyboard, I bet that would probably ruin half the fun to it. But yeah, guys, I think I finally figured out what the controls are, so hopefully from here on out, I won't actually have to rage quit at this damn game. But yeah, with that said, um, this is as far as I've made it so far, and I am still very, very confused. Like, am I supposed to just keep jumping from room to room till I eventually light up all the fires from hell and kill myself? I don't really know, but you know what? I am going to figure it out whether it takes all night or not, and preferably I hope it don't. But who knows guys, hopefully today's game won't take me too goddamn long to beat, because all it seems like it's going to need for me to do is to go from room to room within a certain order in order to beat it. So if I just keep randomly clicking, sooner or later I am going to pass this goddamn puzzle, am I right? I mean, it only makes sense. Like... That's, at least that's what I did to get the second candle. I don't really even know what I did there, you know? I think I went like a clockwise order until all of a sudden it just said, hey, I'm gonna work. But I might be entirely wrong. And I think I am. I think I actually figured out what I gotta do. So if I go this way, I go back to the bed, and I know you guys can't see my mouse pointer, so sorry, I'll point it out in voice. Um, if I go to the left, I think it will take me back to the bed. So what I gotta do now is go down, push the button, or not, maybe go down again. No, how about we go right? Okay, maybe this is the one I was thinking about. And then we go right again, push that one, and then back up. And then back up again. Okay, I'm thinking I might be entirely wrong, but I'm so far on some kind of right track. Because I managed to get four out of like the five, six, seven, eight that are there maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. And if anything happens, I'll come back to you guys, alright? So okay guys, I actually figured out something and it only took me about 5 minutes maybe, but I just realized that the puzzles are getting easier and easier as I progress, so if I just keep doing what I'm doing, I think I will eventually light up the candles, like if not I will open a door or something, cause I don't think there were any of these doors open till now were there. Yeah, I don't think any of this was here, so I must be doing something right with the candles, so how about I keep messing with the candles until I get them all nice and lit up, and hopefully from there another door will open, and then maybe I'll figure out what it is exactly I'm doing in this place. Like, there's a lot I need to know. I mean, what is my guy's name, first of all? Where the hell are we? And... Am I supposed to be here? Is this where this guy actually belongs? Or did he just, like, wake up in a different area? Or did he just forget he lived here, you know? There's so many questions I want answered, but I'm pretty sure I won't get them answered. Because I don't really know if this is a complete game or not. Like, I didn't really look at the page too much. All I looked at was what the game was about. And all it told me was that the guy wakes up in a place and you have to solve puzzles. Like, 
I don't know if it's complete or not, but hopefully it is. And oh, wait, when did I get another candle lit? All right, so there's another, just one more yet, and I got it. What did that exactly do, though? I mean, did I power up some kind of death machine? I mean, who knows, guys, but hopefully it did something good, and hopefully I don't die from it later on. But I have a feeling that this whole building is in fact a machine, and what I'm doing here is I'm kind of like activating it, but I don't really know for what purpose quite yet. Like, am I activating it to do a good thing? Or am I activating it to kill a lot of people? I mean, after all, my guy does kind of look like Adolf Hitler. I'm not trying to be, um, I don't know, sugarcoat this is what I'm trying to say. He does look like, um, Adolf Hitler. I mean, he could be very much the enemy in this game for all I know. But yeah, with that said, I don't think I need to keep coming back here to the candle room anymore. So how about we go up from here... Because we weren't here yet, and I think I unlocked this area. And I don't really know why I unlocked it, though. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Or am I supposed to just go, ooh, so very pretty? I don't really know how I'm supposed to be feeling about all this. But I do think I am not alone in this building. Like... So far, I keep hearing noises, like, I don't know if they're coming from outside or inside the game, but it is creeping me the hell out, like, I feel like I'm gonna be pushing one of these buttons later, and I'm just gonna, like, initiate my own death. Like, something is gonna come out of one of these doors and kill me. I just know it. And I really hope I'm wrong. That puzzle there is a light box puzzle, is that the name of them? It's when you try to light up all the lights, but you push one, another light shuts off or turns on. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm supposed to be finding the order to push these in to get them all lit. So I feel like if I do this, I'm going to open that door down here. Because if I look right... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. There's a trail there, so the moment I connect all this stuff together, the moment that door opens up, if I'm not wrong. And what are you? Oh, you're a mirror. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I don't think I activated this yet, so... How about we go back, um, here? All right. Okay, yeah, I need a password for it, apparently. I mean, why do I need a password if the door's opened up? Okay, this is so bizarre, but can I call 911? I think I really need some help here. And, oh. Alright, can I shut that off? That was very lovely. I don't really know why I did that. Did I kill someone? Or was that playing a recording of somebody dying? Now that's the real question. What if... What if every time I push a button, somebody dies? Oh my god, that'd be so horrifying. Because so far, every freaking button I pushed didn't really do anything in and of itself till I pushed a lot of them. So okay guys, I don't know if this is suddenly becoming a disco club or what, but what is up with the floor? Like it sounds like I suddenly entered the matrix. And oh, did I reach the end of my destination? No? Okay, this is so weird. There is no goddamn way I'll beat this, especially if that thing there is the map. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's telling me to go to the white dot, and I'm that gray dot right there. I don't know how to read this. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the map, and I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get up there into the top right of the, the building. But I don't really know how to really do that. I think I've already been there, but I need a code. So, okay, suddenly that puzzle I found earlier with the mirror suddenly makes a lot more sense. I pushed this button, I turned on a light. So all I gotta do now is... Direct the light, maybe? 
But why are there so many lights, first of all? I mean, what could they all be for to begin with? And oh, I got that one. But how the hell do I get that one? Ah, that makes sense. Okay, this is a puzzle I like. I love light puzzles, by the way. I mean, I hardly ever play them, because I find them to be too easy sometimes, but yeah, this one was pretty cool. And oh, did I go the wrong way, or was I supposed to be making my way up here? Hello? Okay. Oh. So the guy got shot in the head, yet he's aiming a gun at me? You better not have killed me. Really? Oh, that's sad. And what's happening there off the screen? 2034-58, Monday, May 8, 2034. Okay, what is that? Is that the game? Did I beat it, or is this actually telling me that I died and woke up on that date? Or... Is this the date I died? Oh my god, that'd be horrifying. I'd like to think that the guy maybe lived, but... Then again, it's like... I don't know who I'm playing as. I mean, I could have been the main enemy... In this game the whole goddamn time I was playing it. Without knowing it. I mean, like I said earlier, this guy kind of looks like Hitler. I'm not gonna lie, was it a good thing that I died or a bad thing? I can't tell, but it looks like that's the end of the game. At least for me, I don't have much more time to play it or reopen it. But I can't seem to get past this. And I actually take that back, I did get past that. That's another thing, developer, you could fix that. Maybe make like a highlight around what you have to click. Because I had to really click everywhere on the screen to get past that. But yeah, it looks like I died. And, uh, I'm reliving my life, maybe? I don't know, really, guys, but you know what? Like I was saying earlier, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave this video off here, um, soon. Just because I don't have the time. And, oh, remember, dot, 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 six and 18. So I have to remember 18. Oh, okay, so that's part of the door code. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna actually take a picture of that, and I'll meet up with you guys in a second. Alright, I took a picture of it, and I have a feeling my guy is not dead now. Was that a memory bullet? God, what anime was that I watched, where the guy loaded a gun or a girl, and shot her memory into his head with a bullet? Is that what happened to my guy? Or is he going through some kind of like Groundhog Day situation, he has to do things right? and die, and then repeat, in order to get the hell out of here? I don't really know, but I don't want to do that light puzzle again, so how about I go this way? And no, I don't feel like I should do it this way. I think I saw this in their little trailer for the game. If I push that button, I'm dead. But you know what, since I don't really care about life anymore and I'm fixing to wrap up the video, how about we just go and kamikaze ourselves, shall we? Who knows, maybe that last code is written on that saw blade. I don't know, but the guy should open his eyes and look. You never know, maybe the... The code was on that blade, dude. Whatever, anyway, um... You know what, like I was saying, I'm gonna leave today's video off here on Until You Wake, but if you wish to see any more of this, I will gladly come back to this game. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna leave this off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. Yeah, with that said, once you've got Orbitron all set up, you just wait for a satellite to pass overhead. Fuck you, air conditioner. I finally beat your shit, and I'm gonna get my suitcase on.